Okay, here we are on the left side of our chancel as you stand out in the room and look forward in the church. And this side of the organ contains uh, two additional sections to the instrument. So here we have the great division. Uh, this is kind of the core of the instrument. It corresponds to the middle keyboard at the organ console. And in contrast to the swell division on the other side, you'll notice that this section is uh, kind of uh, in open air, so to speak. Uh, there is no room built around it. So in this case, uh, for this set of pipes, we do not have the ability to uh, change the volume of these pipes. And that's a traditional design in organs. The great division is typically unenclosed like that. So if we go up the ladder, there's another tuning knife sitting here for adjustments on the spot. So we're standing on top of the great division, and uh, you'll see again a wide variety of different construction styles for the pipes. Here we have something that's uh, a stopped flute. Uh, it's got this cap on the top that's been padded with a piece of uh, felt. And uh, sometimes we'll see those with a little pipe sticking out of the top of the, that which uh, would be called a chimney flute, and we have other stops in the organ that are, are like that. And we have more wooden, large wooden pipes off to the side, uh, and a, in a similar layout to the other side of the organ, another set of uh, principal pipes, which are those big uh, cylindrical metal pipes, uh, against that front wall. These smallest pipes, especially right here, form what is called a mixture, and they play uh, multiple pipes every time you play one key at the organ console. And so let's just say that I played middle C at the keyboard, you might get uh, a, a C and a G in multiple octaves going up from that. So it kind of plays harmonics uh, or, or the overtones of a pipe. Uh, and that reinforces and strengthens the sound of the pipe. It adds color and brilliance. Uh, and these are the sounds that you might hear for the most uh, kind of stereotypical organ tone uh, that you can think of from movies or, or from other recordings. Uh, they're often used for hymn playing and uh, are kind of part of the classical core of a pipe organ. Uh, the organ contains, this section of the organ contains uh, reed pipes. Here we've got a trumpet uh, and uh, then all of the other foundations that make up the great division. And then of course you can see the back side of our uh, paneling that is visible from out in the chancel. You'll notice that these uh, conical metal pipes have wooden uh, racks that support them. And uh, this is done a bit to support the pipe. These tall cylindrical, or excuse me, conical pipes uh, are so narrow down at the base that they are at risk of collapsing. Uh, and that has been something that's happened on many, many organs. Uh, some organs do not have the racks, and sometimes uh, the pipes are fine, but this is an extra layer of security that just ensures that over time, those pipes will not lean in one direction or another and become weak at the base. Uh, 